Okay, let's say I want to uh, put a countertop on this island right here, right there. And of course I made this island just out of base cabinets, you know, basically they're back to back um, base cabinets. Uh, these cabinets here are facing toward this wall. These cabinets are facing toward these cabinets. Okay, so basically I took four of them and made an island. Now I need to put a countertop on that island. And there really, um, there's not much of a selection for count, um, island countertops in Revit. Um, I think there is one, but let's say there's, you know, you really can't do anything with that. So we want to make a custom um, countertop. So, and of course you might want to do that in case, you know, you have different materials and things of that nature that you want to use. So you don't want to use the stock material. So here's how we'll do that. Uh, first, I'm going to create a view. Say section view, and I'm going to draw it right across here, and I'm going to go into it. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is go to my architecture tab, and go over here to reference plane because I have to create a plane to draw on. All right, so this is going to be a whole new reference plane right here. And I'm going to draw right across the top of my cabinet click to name it and I'm going to name it Island Counter Top. Okay, so there is my plane. You know, plane of course is just a flat area that you would build something on, just you know, like your table, your desktop, and you know, it is a plane. Alright, now I'm gonna go back to level one. And I am going to go to Architecture. I'm going to go to Component. I'm going to pull down the little selection uh, triangle here. And I'm going to choose Model in Place. It's going to be Casework. Click OK. And again, name it. My own countertop. I can't remember if that's one word or two. Anyway, who cares? All right. Um, I'm going to make an extrusion. This is going to be my extrusion right here. So I'm going to click on extrusion. And now it's asking me if I want to draw it or if I want to pick lines or something like that. I want to draw my countertop. Okay. And I'm going to offset it also a little bit. I want it to overhang slightly. So I'm going to do offset, and it's already set for one foot. Well, I, don't want, I don't want one foot. Obviously, I want one inch. So one inch overhang. And I also have to go in here and set the uh, plane that I just created. Okay, so I'm telling it I want to draw on this reference plane, this island countertop reference plane that I created. Um, in my line tool. So now I just um, click and draw. And I'm not sure if it's offsetting correctly or not. I'll have to zoom in a little closer. And actually, I drew that one a little bit too wide. I don't see it offsetting at all. Oh, duh. Look up here. I guess it uh, reset itself or something. So let's get out of that. Okay, so I am back in my line tool. I'm going to re, uh, re uh, enter my offset. I'm going to get really close here. There we go. See, we got that one inch offset. Um, make sure you click on the corners of your cabinetry or your casework. And of course, I probably could have drew it out a little bit further, and it, well, it did connect. It all connected up nice and neatly. You saw it at the beginning there; it left gaps, but it automatically understood what I was trying to do, and it fixed that for me. Okay, now I have to adjust the depth. Okay, so how thick do I want this countertop? Typically, you know, three quarters to two inches. It could be lots of different things there. So I'm just going to put in two inches. 
Um, a lot of countertops are really only about a three quarters to an inch. But uh, I want a pretty sturdy countertop here. So I've got my two inch um, depth and my one inch offset. And now I'm just going to click the, or actually, there's nothing worse than these square corners on a cabinet top, or on a countertop. So I'm going to click on this fillet arc and I'm going to set my radius here to a half an inch. Okay, and then I'm going to click on the adjacent corners and create that half inch fillet. There, I'm going to go down here and do the same. Click on one line, then on the adjacent line, one line, then the adjacent line. And now I have nice rounded corners so I don't kill myself when I'm walking through the house. Okay, so now I've got the countertop, uh, got my depth. There's two inches, it's going to be a two inch thick countertop. Um, and my radius is there, my offset is there. I'm going to click the check mark. And now I should have a countertop, or actually, I can do some more adjusting right here if I wanted to. So this is one of those things where you're like into the editing mode a little bit deeper, so you have to click the check mark one more time to finish. All right, now we're going to go in and take a look uh, from a kind of a side view. And you can see we have a countertop right there. Okay, well, let's go back to level one. There's one other thing too that we want to do with our countertop is we want to set the material. Right now it's just a generic material. There really is no uh, material to it. So let me start over here. What I do is I click on it twice. I'm, I'm hovering over it and I click on it twice and I get into one stage of the edit mode. Okay, I'm going to click on it, highlight it, and click on it two more times. Now I get into a deeper stage of the edit mode. This is where I began. Um, and over here in the properties panel, I can find material. And I can make this any material that I want to. Let's say, uh, let's see, there's a tile four inch porcelain. Let's make it this. I'm not sure if you've ever seen countertops like that, but um, they were real popular in the 90s, I believe. Okay. Okay, so now my material is this tile porcelain. I'm going to click the green check mark to finish editing and the green check mark again to get further out of it. Okay, and then we're going to take a look at it again from here. Okay, now I can see that it's tiled and I actually saw that from above as well. Let's go into our 3D view. Check it out from here. And there we go. And let's put a little bit of color to it. Put it on realistic. And there you can see we have a nice um, white countertop, uh, four inch porcelain tile. And you know, this is just the real brown, um, you know, wood laminate countertop color. Here's the splash guard I was telling you about. This is the splash guard that sticks up from the back of your countertop. All right, so that's it. That's how you do a custom counter. Um, you can do custom counters anywhere, anyway, with whatever type of overhang. Um, and of course, there's even further editing that you can do to that. And uh, how much time have we spent here already? I can't really see the clock down there. Um, but I think that's enough. I think that's enough. So that's it for custom countertop.